Up with Crim begins now. 7.30 now. This morning there is a renewed effort to build a new stadium in downtown Spokane and it could attract a professional soccer team. We'll tell you more details in a few minutes. Plus, multiple Walmart pharmacies in Spokane County are now offering coronavirus vaccines. We have the full list of where you can go and how to schedule an appointment. We'll also have an update on who is now eligible. And we're taking you outside this morning. You can still find snow in those higher elevations, but we're talking spring-like weather down low. Ooh, the change of seasons is upon us. And we do begin with breaking news new in the past 10 minutes. Spokane police say a missing 13 year old girl has been found safe. Yeah, according to Spokane police, Mary Katie Callow is in now home safe with her family this morning. Oh, good news to share there. All right, 730 now. Jeremy, take it away. I know it's a sunny start to the day across the inland northwest. Oh, it's so great. It's even sunny over on the west side. It is a beautiful start to the day thanks to a giant ridge of high pressure over the top of us, and that's going to do a number to our temperatures throughout the day. We are going to go from near 30 degrees early on this morning into the 50s later on. And did I mention it comes with sun? Oh yeah, it comes with sunshine and a lot of it. Right now we are looking at those clear skies across the region. Hard pressed to find anything on the radar and hard pressed to find anything in the future tracker. No, seriously, it's kind of boring until we get into late Thursday night when moisture starts working its way into the west side. Thankfully that holds off for us during the day on Friday. We might see a few more clouds as that arrives, but in the interim, it's all about the sunshine. Sunshine and temps in the mid 50s today. Doesn't get much better than that, considering we are only at the third day in March. Tim? All right, Jeremy, thanks so much. Well, check this out. This could be a new addition to Spokane's downtown. Right now, a proposal could have leaders in Spokane revisiting the possibility of a new stadium. The Downtown Spokane Partnership announced their proposal for a 5,000 seat stadium. Now, the idea is it will be home to Spokane Public Schools football and soccer games and bring a new professional soccer team to the city. Well, DSP estimates the stadium could generate at almost $11.5 million in annual economic impact for Spokane. We genuinely believe this is a win-win-win for everybody. It's a win for our students. It's a win for our parents. It's a win for the school district. It's a win for our community, local businesses, and the entire region. Well, DSP says the stadium would also be available to host concerts, large scale special events and other sporting events. And this morning, Spokane Public Schools is also reacting to the proposal. A spokesperson says this will save the school district more than $17 million in operations and maintenance costs. Now this time, no public vote is needed, just a vote from the SPS school board. And if it is approved, the stadium could be ready as early as fall of 2022. And coming up at 830, you'll hear from the downtown partnership here on our show. You can text us your questions 509-448-2000. Joshua. It is 733 this morning as President Biden has announced a pharmaceutical partnership that will give the U.S. enough vaccine doses for every adult by the end of May. Here are three other things you need to know about the coronavirus today. Number one, Walmart has announced that five of its locations in Spokane County will be administering COVID-19 vaccines. They're now one of several pharmacies in our area already doing this, including Safeway, Yolks, Fred Meyer and Costco, who are listed as providers for Spokane County on the state's Department of Health website. Now we're going to show you those locations on your screen right now. Again, these are the addresses of the Walmarts in Spokane County now administering vaccines. They are supplying the Pfizer vaccine. Now to schedule an appointment, you can go to the Walmart website. You have to create an account in order to schedule an appointment. You must also be eligible based on Washington State's eligibility, eligibility requirements. Teachers and child care workers are now included as an eligible group. Number two, anyone traveling into Washington State from outside of the country must now have a negative coronavirus test three days before arriving. Governor Inslee gave an update on travel restrictions here in Washington State yesterday as the CDC now requires passengers to present proof of a negative coronavirus test. Also, passengers must get tested three to five days after arriving and then must quarantine for at least seven days. 
And number three, a number of areas around the U.S. are now easing their coronavirus restrictions. Most notably, Texas Governor Greg Abbott announced he is completely reopening the state next week. It is now time to open Texas 100 <laughs> percent. Removing state mandates does not end personal responsibility. It's just that now state mandates are no longer needed. The Lone Star State is not alone when it comes to states and cities rolling back their restrictions. Mississippi ended its mask mandate. The city of San Francisco now allows indoor dining and Chicago has eased restrictions on restaurants and bars. We want to show you this map of the United States without mask mandates. Of course, the states that are colored blue do have mandates like Washington and Oregon. States that are dark gray don't have mask mandates like Idaho and Montana under that category. And of course, now Texas and Mississippi also included. Time now for your daily checklist. Stories worth knowing about before you start your day. Uh, continuing what Joshua said, some big name companies are not withdrawing their mask mandates. General Motors, Toyota, Target, Macy's and others say their employees and customers in Texas will still have to wear a face covering. Leaders with the Dallas Mavericks and San Antonio Spurs will continue to follow league protocols as well. And that limits attendance and requires masks. Also, a seven-year-old girl in Alabama is selling lemonade to help pay for her much-needed brain surgery. She suffers from a rare condition. She set up a stand in her mother's bakery. After getting national attention, she raised more than $250,000. Her parents say the outpouring of support has been nothing short of incredible. Just thank you. You, uh, you have no idea how how loved we feel. And we are so appreciative. It's going to make a huge difference to my daughter Elizabeth and, and to Liza. Thank you so much. All this week, she is set to get her first surgery in Boston. Donors also offered free flights and housing for her trip. This morning, President Joe Biden's pick for the head of the Office of Budget and Management is withdrawing. This week, Neera Tandon sent the White House a letter explaining her decision. She did face an uphill battle on her nomination, receiving criticism from both sides of the aisle. <coughs> we'll take a look at this little seal pup. This is a Nova Scotia. Experts say this is their natural habitat, but it's melting. They say seals cannot give birth on land, only on ice. Scientists estimate within the next 50 years, there will not be any options left. They add they could migrate but they will face predators like polar bears. Coming up at 8 o'clock, we're going to give you your first look at the flag design finalists in Spokane. You'll be able to vote next month, and the winner will become our new city flag in Spokane. But we're going to show you the designs coming up at 8, right here on Up With Krim on the CW22. And she wants you to get yours, too. I just want to say to all of you cowards out there, don't be such a chicken squat. Get out there and get shot. Anyway, that's a chicken squat. Video. Never heard of that one, but we're going to show you more of that video coming up. It also includes a twist on one of her most famous songs. 